What's up guys, Electrostats here. I just wanted to say that this video was recorded live on twitch.tv slash electrostats and you can follow me there so that you don't miss my live content. And on that note, enjoy the video. Benj! Benj Beats, you're next. DMing now? Alright, alright. Wait, Chocolate, isn't Chocolate Lily... Isn't this rank? What, what is your what is your rank on this song? On request are there? I have no idea, but there is a lot. Uh, it's not too bad. It's actually pretty fine. We can go through that in maybe like a two hours ish. Bench, what is your rank on the song? Though, uh, hold up. Unless you don't have score saver. Uh, 78.50. Oh yeah, I don't think that is gonna be top 10. You're, you're just on beat leader? All right, sure. Let's go, let's go and do another beat leader reply then. All right, I think there's gonna be a lot of things to say about this. Uh, this is a lot of misses. This is a lot. <laughs> All right, I like these. I like these replays more than uh, than people that are too good at the game. <laughs> it's gonna be super interesting. All right, let's take a look at this. I don't know why, but you look so small. <laughs> you look so small. Oh my god. All right. So let's let's get let's start right away. <laughs> let's start right away. So first thing, your play height is extremely low. I uh, this makes it really hard for to reach the top row notes, but it also makes it so that uh, full swinging the top row notes is gonna be nearly impossible. You can literally the headset on the bottom, right? And you're like three feet. Okay, yeah, so uh, if you take a look at the bottom right, okay, you want to take a look at uh, the, 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 the center rotation of the hilt of the saber. So if you take a look at like the little white shiny circle at the bottom here, whenever you're swinging up and down, uh, whenever you're swinging up and down, that that little circle is like super low uh, compared to the middle row notes. You want that. You want that. Your you you want the arc of your swing. Basically, whenever you're swinging up and down, to be perfectly centered with the middle row notes. Right now, it's super low, which means your player height is very very high. You make you need to make those notes much much slower, uh, and that's gonna help a lot. Uh, as for the settings, it's a bit hard to tell because of the instability. Uh, but I do believe that that, uh, that left hand looks like it's curving inward. Oh yeah, that left hand is curving inward quite a lot. I would probably point that left hand a, a bit more towards the outside, so that left hand has to be pointed more towards the left. Another thing also is I, I can I I notice you're like extremely tense whenever you're playing this. Uh, you want to be as relaxed as possible, especially on those faster sections. You don't have to flick and flick your wrist that much. You don't have to uh, be so aggressive about it. You can really just like uh, try to relax your swing. You can just let your arm fall and uh, bring your arm up. Like there's no resistance, right? I also think that those sabers could be pointed more downward. Uh, you can see that left hand is missing a lot of swing angle. Uh, so I'd probably I'll probably point those sabers a little more downward to probably make it easier. But overall, you just have to s learn how to swing a lot more with that left hand. So be a lot more relaxed. Especially here, you can see you can see how that headset the headset is shaking. <laughs> the headset is shaking like you're like it's a life or death situation. You're just. Destroying those blocks.
Yeah, that right hand is overall not bad. It's really just that left hand. You gotta work a little bit on that left. Very interesting. Very, very nice replay, honestly. So a lot, lot of misses, but a lot of these misses are like timing related. So either uh, you, you like swing too early or you have a hard time reaching those top row notes. So I definitely think that the player height will help a lot. So side read too, that's also pretty good. This is uh, super dense in terms of like notes. I would definitely work on, like I said, that left end, making sure that it's full swinging right now. It's like uh, struggling a little bit, like especially on the downswing. So really make sure that you're like going all the way down uh, make sure you learn how much you have the swing also to get the full swing. That right hand though, like I said, it looks very nice. It's all about that left. Uh, there's also quite a lot of saber wobble. Uh, this is something I tell a lot of people to do. Uh, get yourself a grip strengthener. You can go like to your dollar store or, or, or uh, just like a order it on like Amazon. It's like three to five bucks at max. And uh, just like a, a good grip strengthener and do it like just to practice. And it's going to help a lot with the saber wobble. So most of the time, whenever you have like a lot of saber wobble, it's because you're either gripping the controller not hard enough or too hard. In this case, I do think it's not hard enough. Uh, whenever you're gripping the controller too hard, the, the wobble will be somewhat consistent, but uh, it will be really hard on stamina. But whenever you are not gripping hard enough, then the saber wobble is kind of everywhere. So because this is a bit everywhere, then I would definitely work on your uh, your grip strength. So you can work on this very, very easily by just buying a grip strengthener and doing this. Uh, like, I don't know, you're watching a YouTube video on your cell phone and using your other hand, you just grip strength with it. And it makes it, it makes a, a whole lot of a difference, especially for Beat Saber. Yeah, that's pretty good, Bench. That's actually a really good improvement. All right, so I hope you actually learned from this and i will uh, go and look at another replay now thank you for uh, thank you for sending your replay man it was a uh, super super interesting to watch you'll have to see it